हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर होस्ट रोहित एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल रोहित स्टॉक इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट पावर टेस्टिंग प्रोसीजर्स लाइक डी एस एम आई टी एल आई टी एंड मेनी ऑदर्स इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई सजेस्ट प्लीज गो थ्रू इट लिंक्स आर शेयर इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल एज ऑदर प्रोसेस सेफ्टी रिलेटेड वीडियोज लिंक्स आर ऑल्सो शेयर इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स टू इंक्रीज अवर मोरल प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो सो वी कैन ब्रिंग सच वैल्यूएबल कंटेंट फॉर यू as well as please share this video so many people from same field can be benefited with such knowledge stuff don't forget to subscribe our channel to get a notification about our latest video you can also connect with us on facebook and other blog pages links is shared in description box so let's start our today's topic powder safety part 5 thermal instability Thermal instability result in increases of temperature and pressure as the material decomposes therefore it is essential to know the temperature at which heat and gas generation will occur on plant scale to ensure that the process material and the stream are stable at processing temperature the amount of thermal stability testing required depending on the scale of the process and the complexity of the thermal instability The thermal instability assessment is done in a three steps. First, predictive screening. The purpose is to predict the potential hazard based on literature source. Some of the literature source that can give preliminary information on reaction hazard, like NFPA fire protection guide to hazardous material, safety data sheet, general of loss prevention, general of hazardous material. and proceeding of process safety conferences second initial thermal screening thermal screening is done to screen the large number of sample for thermal stability all screening calorimetries are characterized by the small size that mg to gram of the sample required and by the speed at which the measurement can be performed some of the calorimetry that can be used are dsc and tsu third advanced thermal screening adiabatic calorimetry tests are performed as to follow up the thermal screening test initially thermal screening like dsc or tsu are performed for all material and process stream these well highlighted those material or mixture that have a potential thermal instability issue on the scale adiabatic test should be performed on this selected material or mixture to obtain a better assessment of the onset temperature on plant adiabatic calorimetry analysis like arc arsst phytech can be used determination of thermal instability using differential screening calorimetry test procedure in this test 5 to 20 mg of sample is sealed in a high pressure gold plated single use crucible the sample crucible together with a reference crucible is then heated at 4k per minute usually between 0 to 400 degree celsius although the temperature range may vary based on the need any heat generation that is exotherm or any heat absorption that is endotherm is observed as a deviation from the baseline on the normalized scale for experiment duration onset temperature of thermal event together with their associated heat generation are obtained as with other small scale test the onset of exothermicity can be significantly lower on the large scale and therefore care must be taken in its application limitation gas evaluation cannot be measured by dsc note only gold plated high pressure crucible must be used in dsc for process safety analysis aluminum crucible must not be used as they are not designed for high pressure application when a compound undergoes decomposition gases can be generated and will escape from the aluminum crucible the escaping gases can mix mask the exothermicity activity and will not indicate the actual severity of the decomposition the table shows the comparison between aluminum and gold plated crucible from the table we can say that gold plated crucible given corrected result from the dsc we can get the following information onset of thermal event that is exotherm or endotherm calorific value of thermal event 
and determination of TD24 using a formula. For better understanding, we can consider a graph. When any sample is tested in DSC, then initially it melts down the blue region in the graph in a case of solid material if melting point is within the given temperature. Melting is an endothermic event that is why in the graph it has undergone negative deviation from the baseline. Baseline is the black curve. Also in the graph a normalized value can be seen. It is nothing but the heat of melting or endotherm. Note for liquid sample melting will not observed. If the powder is amorphous in nature and not a crystalline then before melting one more event it will undergo which is known as a glass transition. After melting two red regions can be seen which are positive deviation from the baseline. It is nothing but the exotherm or decomposition. However, every positive deviation or exotherm are not considerable decomposition. For example, recrystallization. It is an exothermic event but need not to consider as a quantum of this event is in insignificant and does not possess a considerable threat. In order to simplify this, it can be stated that any exothermic event less than 100 joule per gram is insignificant and hence should not be considered as a decomposition. From DSC, gas evaluation data cannot be generated. A very small sample size is considered while performing DSC experiment. Hence, the result obtained from it may not be accurate. It is because as the scale increases, the surface area to volume ratio decreases and accordingly time required to cool also increases drastically. Typically, the sensitivity of DSC is considered to be 20 Watt per kg, which is very less. To overcome this, a safety factor of 100 degrees Celsius is widely used. A coloration between safe operating temperature and onset temperature can be. Based on Stolil book, the TD24 can also be determined from DSC result as where DSC sensitivity is considered as 10 Watt per kg. TD24 temperature at which TMR AD is 24 hours. TMR AD is the time indicates it takes for a reaction mass to reach a maximum rate of heat release for a given starting temperature. Since the sensitivity of DSC is comparatively less, it is better to perform some advanced testing such as ARC, Phytech, if DSC shows an onset of decomposition which is very close to operating temperature. तो आज की वीडियो में सिर्फ इतना ही मिलते हैं हमारे अगले वीडियो पाउडर सेफ्टी पार्ट सिक्स में तब तक के लिए मैं रोहित साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय